Sparklines are tiny little charts embedded into a cell for a selected row. Not columns, it only works with rows. So if I go ahead and select this row, and I want a little tiny sparkline chart, then come up here and click on the Insert tab, and go to the Sparklines group, and you got three to choose from. You have a basic line, then you have columns, and you have win-loss. Let's go ahead and choose Line. Opens it up, and it says, okay, you've got your range, D4 through G4. Now, where do you want to plop this sparkline into? You can even choose a cell that contains a number, if you'd like, and click Okie Dokie, and there it is. Let me click off. It's really hard to see, but nonetheless, you can put it in there. Let me go ahead and select it. When you select it, you bring up its related contextual design tab, so you can make various changes to it, including the style. If you want to choose something else, like maybe orange, or something close to orange, let me hover over it. It's the Sparkline Style Accent 6 Darker 25%. Okay. And if you made a mistake and you want to get out of it or clear it out, then with the cell selected, you can come up here to the group and click on Clear, or you can go ahead and right-click on the cell, go down to Sparklines, and then come over and down to Clear the Selected Sparkline or Clear Selected Sparkline Groups. We'll talk about groups in just a minute. Let's go ahead and click on Clear Selected Sparklines, and let's add it over to the right. So we'll go ahead and select the same range again, and then come up here, Insert, Sparklines, Line, and the cursor is flashing in the location range. So all I have to do is go ahead and click to select the cell and click OK, and there it is. A lot easier, let me click off of it, to see it than in a cell that contains data. And so with it selected, you can come up here to its Related Design tab, and in the show group, you can look for markers. Hey, look at that. It places a point at each one of the quarters. The first point's for the first quarter, the second point, the second, we're starting to go up. Third quarter is the highest. Let's see if it checks out 22,000 as opposed to the fourth, 19,000. Yeah, it checks. And then with it selected here, if you want to copy it and fill in the rest for the other employees, you can use the auto fill handle by hovering over the bottom right hand corner for that selected sparkline cell. Click and drag down, and it fills it in. And you can come up here. You can look at markers by unchecking markers and saying, just show me the high points. And so it looks like it was the third quarter here, second quarter, first quarter. And it looks like the average high point might be the third quarter. In any case, you can look at high points, low points, ooh, even negative points if there are any. When I check that, I don't see any because I have no negatives. But if I come up here, like for quarter two, and type in negative, for the sake of showing you a negative here, 20,000, and hit enter. Then it shows me the negative point here. Go ahead and click in it, and when I click in it, it selects the entire range. Now, why does it select the entire range? It's because by default, our spark lines are grouped. Now, that has both pros and cons to it. The pro is, is that when I select one, it selects all. So when I come up here to its related design tab, and I want to update the style, or even the type, maybe I don't like line, maybe you want a column. Select the column, and you can take a look at the styles and notice that anything in negative is going to be in red. I only have one that's in negative, and that's with the first employee, Marge Simpson. And if you want to see it more definitively, then what you could do is increase the row's height by coming over here, and let's do it in between row 4 and 5 until I can see arrows pointing up and down. Click and drag to stretch it down, and wow, now it's more definitive. And if it helps, you can play with the axis, like add an access line by coming up here to the group group and clicking on the access line and say that you want to see the axis. And there you go. You can see the axis when there's a negative number, how that one pivots down if the red isn't eye popping enough, but you get the black line. And then you got the win loss. Go ahead and select that if you want to update that. So far, all of them are wins except for Marge. Tut, tut, tut. We had a loss in the second quarter. Let me go ahead and go back to the line here. And instead of negative points, which you can see that there's the access and how far down it goes, we can come back up here, click on access, and uncheck show access, and not see exactly how much of that sparkline goes down below the access. Then we can go back to markers, uncheck that, choose a different style, click on the drop down arrow, maybe you can go to purple. And like I said, the pros and cons for having them grouped is when you select one, you do anything, it updates all the rest. But if you want to isolate one and break it off from the group, like let's say for Lizzie McGuire, maybe you want to make a special presentation of her, go ahead and right click on that cell, go down to Sparklines, 
and go over and down to ungroup or of course you can come up here on the design tab to the group group and click ungroup and that works as well so when I click off and I select the cell for Lizzie that's by itself but when I select any of the others they're in the group still so it selects the one above Lizzie and the rest down below then I can go ahead and select Lizzie and say let's make her special and we'll choose sparkline style accent 2 no dark or light and it pops out a little bit and then finally let's go ahead and select it and come back up here on the design tab to the sparkline group and click on edit data you can edit group location and data or single sparkline data when I select that for what I have selected and you can go ahead and select another range click and drag if you want to go to some other range but it doesn't make sense for this but you can do it in any case click cancel and then to go ahead and clear them all let me go ahead and come back up between four and five until I can see arrows pointing in opposite directions and double click really fast to do a best fit collapses it so we're back to where we started then to clear all this go ahead and click and drag to select the entire range come up here on the design tab to the clear or just right click on the selection go down to spark lines and go over down to clear selected spark lines and we lose our spark thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video